See, there's no time. See, this video, I want to make it very short. So no time for introduction. Well, my name is Samson. Just subscribe to this channel if you like my video. So now I am concerned about people that don't know how to do their CV. Like, if I've not gotten, I've gotten over a hundred messages that are directly messaging me. And anytime I see their CV, it's like, what? Some of my subscribers that have been reaching out to me and because I am guiding them, I have requested for some of their CV and when I see their CV, I shake my head. So instead of me going over and over and over again and over again, explaining how this CV should be, let me just make a direct video and explain it. Then anytime they need to, to probably they ask or they need the help on how to do their CV, let them just come back to this video. So let me just solve the problem once and for all. See, now some people don't know how a CV should be written. They feel that a CV is something they just write about their self and write what they do and their experience and their qualification. No, it is more than that. Nowadays, CV are, are being checked by AIs. So if you're looking for a job and your CV does not um, um, have what they are looking for, the, the machine or the AI automatically takes you off. You don't even have the opportunity to even stand for human to even check it or to even stand for an interview. So your CV is as good and as important as how you work and how you operate. So let me tell you, eh, if your CV is work and you are really good at what you do, I am sorry, nothing for you. And if you are not even good at what you do and your CV is great, you have a chance to prove yourself. So now that you are good, you have a chance to watch this video and learn how a CV should be done. Now, listen attentively. You need to open your ears. You need to open your ears to learn how a CV should be done. So one tip I'll give you first of all is that when you're writing your CV, I know when we were children, they, are, they taught us how to be humble. They, 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 they teach us, look, we did they humble. Ah, you don't want to brag. You don't, you want, you, you don't want to fumble. You don't want to show them who you are. In your CV, I am telling you, you have to be proud. Take it or you leave it. I am not here to... Um, to mend things, to make it sound good. But trust me, you need to show your ego. You need to sound confident. And you need to show that you are good at what you do. So we call it pride or call it whatever you want to call it. I don't care. But this is what your CV should sound like. A little bit of ego and let them know that you are good for the job. So that's just like one tip I want to share. Then the second tip is there is no perfect CV. You need to understand that there is no perfect CV. That is to say, that is to say, your CV will need to keep updating and updating and updating and updating. But you need to at least know that there is a way you need your CV to be. That the rank or would I say how it looks like would look so good for a company to employ you. Now I'm going to be giving you like four to five um, fundamental keys on writing a good CV. So now I am I am not going to start from the top. I'm going to just work on the experience because that experience is what a lot of people are messing up. So listen to this part. I'm going to cover everywhere, but listen to this part very, very well. Number one key, number one key fundamental you need to consider when writing your CV is it's a marketing document. It is not a biography. It's not an autobiography. Yes, it's a marketing document. Now you have to start seeing your CV as a product of yourself that you are the product and you are marketing yourself you don't need to start saying everything you don't need to start marketing a lot of products for one person for example for example you want to sell prastamon and you see someone that is having headache you don't need to start carrying orepta um country mazo chloroquine different different things to sell to that person that is having headache. That is to say, that person that has headache, you just need to carry the right product for that person. That is to say, you have to carry parastamol that can solve a headache and give to that person. There is no need for you to start carrying um, um, antibiotics or other things. Just carry what would solve that problem or carry something that might probably parastamol, um, sodrex and other 
other things that 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 solves headache and bring it that is how you do it this is how marketing works so your cv you don't need to start putting all the things you've worked imagine a person that i met that i help her to correct her cv he wants to apply for a job a caregiving job and she was putting over six experience only one of it was relating to what she's doing the remaining one was hotel the i was seeing teaching i was seeing um saba cafe work i was seeing a lot of things i'm like no a lot of people are making this mistake you if you are giving if you're looking for a job you need to correct your cv and uh, and, and edit it to that particular job and stop making this mistake stop making this mistake i'm emphasizing on this because i know a lot of people are in this mess Use it as a marketing document, not an autobiography that can write everything about your life when you started from primary school, all the places you've worked in this life. Now, I beg you, swear to me, swear to God, that you will not do this thing again. Please, I beg you in the name of God, when you're writing your CV for a particular thing, do it straightforwardly. Now, let us go to the number two. I hope it's, it's making sense. Now, number two fundamental key you need to understand when writing your CV, especially your experience or what you've done, is stop saying things about yourself. I did this, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. Oh my goodness, it really sucks. How many things are you doing? It makes it boring. Stop doing it, please. I did this, I did that, I did that, I did it. What are you doing? You already know. I now, this is how you should do it. But first of all, it's important to, it's very important to tell them that you did it. But there's a better way for you to say it and to make more sense. You have to imagine and you have to, you have to imagine that it's, it's like a, a, a journey, a story journey that you're telling. You don't just have to just take it directly that this is what I do or this is what I did. For example, I managed a team of five through shooting for Live Studio. That is probably the person was the director of Live Studio. You put it as your header and I manage a team of five through. This is what you do. I manage a team of five through working, through shooting content for Live Studio. No. Now, why not write it like this that makes it like a story journey, a very short story journey that makes it more convincing. Now, listen, I was the glue that incredibly held together the group of five stressed out individuals not just individuals incredible individuals and kept them marching forward creating content for light studios now how does that sound it's enticing right so this is how it should sound instead of the other one that i said so i hope you're learning rather than putting it i did this i did that i did that it can make the employer sleep over your document or your CV. Now, number three, it is not about you. It's still relating to what I said in number two, but now it is not just about you, 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 you. you. See, let me tell you, they don't fucking care. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. All they just want is someone that can deliver the job. They probably might care about you after you've gotten this job. And when you started working, they now understand how you feel, how you're stressed out. And that is when they, they now understand your feeling. But at this point, they don't want to know how you feel. They don't care anything about you. They just want to know who is better in achieving this result. Are you listening to me? They just want to know who is better in achieving this result. Now, you need to tell them the solution you are bringing. If you have told them that you've done this, you have to explain to them that this is why you need to employ me. And if I use what I've done before and bring it down to your company, that it would bring growth or whatever solution you are bringing to the company, to that company. I don't know if you understand. I don't know if I'm, 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 I'm not getting the point. I'm not hitting the nail. If you tell them you do this or you've done something, you now have to now tell them what you're bringing to the table. Um, okay, it's just more like you told them that you held together five incredible stressed out individuals, matching them forward in creating content for Live Studio. You've told them that. Now, with this making me a so, so so kind of person i can be able to bring your thing 
together and make them a formidable force that can help your company strive to where they want to be. I don't know if it's making sense. That is, you have to give them reason that what you are making them, what you have to give them reason what why they should employ you. That if you come, this is what you would do, you would do in that company. See, I'm breaking it easily. I don't think there will be any person that can break this thing easily. So share this thing to a lot of people. I want this thing to trend. I want this video to trend. Let everybody in Nigeria see how to make CVs. It should be as simple as ABC. Break it down. Tell them that this is where I fit in, in the position and what you're going to do for them if you employ me because I have done it before. I think you understand it better now. Thank you. Um, before, I, before I conclude on this, since you can also put it like this, like since you are looking for this kind of person that needs to do this, then I am fit to do it because I have done it before. Does it make sense? So just know how you're going to be creative around it. You have to make it sound like human. You have to express yourself. Let it sound like you. Let it look like you are selling your product. As I said before, it is not an autobiography. It is something that you are selling. It's a product. More like the emphasis I, I, or more like how I describe the other situation or the context. If someone is having headache, you get prastamol. Then you now tell the person that, see, oh, I have prastamol. I have prastamol. You say, ah, what does prastamol do? Before you even allow the person to ask for prastamol, say, I have prastamol. This prastamol will be able to solve your headache. It solved one of my friends when I gave him this prastamol, his headache. See, I don't know if I did put the English correct, but I just hope you understand this thing because I did break them down. I'm breaking it down to the perfect and simplest form. If I sell it to you, if I sell prastamol to you, I'll tell you the reason why you should take this prastamol and why this prastamol is good for you and who this prastamol have worked for. So this is how you should, you should do it. Please. It shouldn't be a problem. Let's go to the fourth one, the fourth fundamental key. You need to be strategic. Now, you need to be strategic. What does it mean to be strategic? That is to say, you need to put sugar in your tea. What do I mean by putting sugar in your tea? You need to make your CV sweet by adding salt and maggi. I am not saying you should lie. You don't go and say what you don't know how to do. But make it look sweet. You have to use your, you get? And Barbara should say, let it look sweet. <laughs> I don't know how to make you understand this, but you need to put maggi and sugar. You need to put seasoning to it. You know, preparing indomie without salt, without that seasoning um, stuff, you know it will not be sweet. So you have to add. I'm not saying you should lie. For example, you can add one or two fussy inside. I don't know how to make you understand, but don't lie. Because one of the disadvantages of lying in your CV is because if you lie in your CV, it can make you lose a job that you have nearly gotten. Because now you have lied and they love what you did. Beautiful CV, wonderful. They call you, they bring you to the company. And at that point, you are almost getting the job and they find out that you can't do it. How you go feel? How will you feel? You've messed up now, you've messed everything. So automatically, you have to put what you know you can do. You understand? Except you have any other plan you want to do. But you have to put what you can do. I know why I'm saying this. So, but that thing that you can do, you can now add, you get, you can now add jara. You can now add jara. Make the thing just balance. Make and sweet where where. They feel me? So make and sweet. You understand? Make mele. So no time for that one. Now let's go to the fifth one. The fifth one. Now this fifth one is as simple. Mark the keyword. Mark the keyword. Now the keyword that I'm talking about now is more like, you know that is um, AI that is checking these things. And AI are more like processing. When they, don't, when they just check the keyword that they can't find it, you're gone. You'll just fling it away. And AI is not human being. Now, the aim is for you to pass the test of AI so that AI sees your CV, your CV very fit. And once they see your CV fit, a human will not check it. That human is compassionate. Human being is smile, you understand? So you have higher chances 
of getting it. So let it just come off for AI and let it remove, go, go away from AI and, and move to the human. That's the point. So you have to mark your keyword. What do I mean by marking your keyword? Probably bulleting your keywords. That thing you did, you have to just bullet it and make it a little bit bold. Just bullet it, highlight the keyword and talk about it. Now, you don't have to make the thing too much word and you don't have to make it too scanty. I don't know how to balance this, but your, your CV should not be scanty and it should not be too much. In fact, your CV should not be more than 1,000 1, words. 1,000 words is okay. Two pages. Make your CV... Make your CV two pages is perfectly okay. A CV two pages is okay. Three pages is going to bore the... Whosoever that is checking it, it's going to bore the person. Do you understand? So mark those words. Your keywords are more important. Mark those keywords. I can't tell you that you would get all key keywords. So you need to write, you need to make and choke. But at the same time, where they make and choke, please don't make it too much. And at the same time, too, where you are trying to like um, not to make, make it choke or not to make it too much, don't make it scanty at the same time. So make it balance. Balance it, make it look fit, make it look, make it look good. Go to Google and check beautiful CVs on how it's been done. And with this thing, I have taught you, join it with what you are seeing online. Because a lot of people, even those ones you even saw online, don't even have this particular style. So match it together and make a beautiful CV. I swear, your CV will stand out. I am putting it up to you. If your CV does not stand out, carry gun and shoot me anywhere you're going to see me. See, I'm not joking here. I'm telling you the direct fact. And this might probably be the last time I'm explaining how a CV should be done to all my subscribers. So at any point that you are telling me, how do I do a CV or this, I'll just direct you. Go and watch my video. Don't stress me. Watch my video to the end and end me one view. That's all you know that you, you do for me. Yeah, I'm doing this with free of charge. Some people charge you for this. And if after all this, my stress, I've stressed on telling you how a CV can be done, and you still does you and you still don't know. Uh, no problem now. That is where I will not charge you. You will have to pay me for that. At least it's fair because I've taught you for free and you don't want know how to do it. Or probably you are busy or you don't know you how to navigate your, your way around it. No problem. I will humbly charge you for it. So you can also check my description. You see, you understand the group chats, you, the link to the group chat. So when you see there, or my number to the group of my business number, you chat me directly. Then when you chat me directly, you ask me how much will I take to do a CV for you. I also do it for you. So let me round this up with some few tips that you need to know too. Let me round it up to some few tips. Um, your objective, objective, you need to, you know how, you have to tell them about a brief thing about yourself. I'm not, probably later I'll talk about your objective, but objective shouldn't be a problem. You just have to tell them about yourself. Then, as I said before, make sure that your, 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 your pages are more than two. Two pages is okay. One page is fine. Two pages, don't let it be more than two pages, please. Then, one more thing, please reduce the number of I on your, on your, on your CV reduce in fact come out all the eye for your cv if you get how you go to reduce and so some some there's some part that you can't take off those eye but make sure that it is just very few in fact if it's possible you don't even put eye at all good don't put eye because eye is about yourself and you're not talking about yourself as i've said cv is not about yourself tell the company their 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 solution to their problem and what you are bringing to the table that is how a CV should be done. That is how a CV should be done. Don't start telling them about yourself, who you are. You're telling them you are good, you are this, I have done this, I am the president of so so uh, association, one time this, one time that, one time this, uh, currently. You are, <laughs> it's for your own. If, you, if I want to employ you, it's not about who you are. A lot of people have qualifications and experience. So tell them, tell them that see, we have problem of, we need someone to be a director in this team. And you are telling me you've become, you've been director for 10 years. What was my business? Were you able to solve the kind of problem that my company needs to be solved? Did you be able to solve it? If you're able to solve it, tell me how you did it. Then tell me how you're going to use, do the same thing in my company and change this, the, the momentum of my company for a growth 
um, level, let my company be moving high. So when I see something like that, I'll be persuaded to want to um, um, grant you interview. So we can now um, connect and I will now give you the job. So that is how it is. Then thirdly, put soft skills, like soft skills, like your communication skills, those jara jara little, little, little few, few things that you can do. Don't forget to add them. I listen, I'm a good listener, I'm this. Just put it communication skill, put all those soft skills. Just put it there. Very simple. Then available on demand. If your referee, you might put it or you just put available on demand or something like that. Then one more thing again. One more thing, especially for the tech people. If you're a tech guy and tech guy, you're watching this video. It's not only them, please, before I say it, it's not only for them, everybody. If you have a LinkedIn profile, add your LinkedIn profile. It makes your CV look very strong. Don't forget to add your LinkedIn profile. I'm begging you it all my life. Put your LinkedIn profile on your, on your um, contact or your details. Put your email, put your, your nationality. Yes, put your nationality, especially if you're applying for an international job. Put your name and those things. So I believe this would help you in creating a good CV. A lot of people will not tell you this. I have dedicated my time to tell you this. So appreciate me by subscribing to this channel. Appreciate me by subscribing to this channel and sharing this video. That's the only thing I need from you. And I'll be very grateful. Share this video and subscribe to this channel. So I see you again in my next video. I move.